watching Headbangers Lifestyle. I'm Milo and I'm here with Tony, drummer of Papa Roach. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, nice yeah. to have you. Yes, it's nice to be had. Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> Life's great. Life's great. Yeah. You're touring around in Europe, right? Yes. Um, I think it's going very well. And yes, we're very excited. So far, yeah. I mean, it's been it's been a while since we've had a, a headlining run here. So mm -hmm. um, this is the most production that we've brought out. Uh, we're able to play for an hour and a half now, so we can play a lot more songs. Yeah. And the fans are losing their minds. Yeah. It's great. Why should people go to the show? Well, we. Uh, like I said, we're playing longer, so we're able to take the fans and the listeners on more of a journey. Mm -hmm. So we have more things in the set to offer. Um, surprises, we're, we're doing some medleys of some old songs. Um, we brought back some old songs, um, and the production just looks pretty sick. You know, we've got some some great lights, and, uh, and it's just, it's a complete, show finally yeah. for us you know normally we get up and we just play like with our amps and cabinets and it's just like a few lights and you know people are like yeah hey, cool and now now it's like more of a an experience yeah for us and we're very excited to be able to bring it to the people is there any chance that you're gonna also do shows maybe in the future in countries like Asia, like Nepal, China, India, maybe those kind of uh, countries. Yeah, we would love to. We, I mean, it's it's time to for us to expand out, you know, yeah. and like Southeast Asia, we're we're talking about like maybe Singapore and and Seoul and you know, just, yeah. yeah, anywhere where we can like bring the music to the people mm -hmm. and they'll bring themselves to us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we will go. In the summer we did some gigs for our troops in the States, or mm -hmm. from the States. Um, so we played in Okinawa, Japan, which we played on a military base. And then we flew to Guam and played Guam for the first time. Oh. A little island there. Yeah. <laughs> and that was cool. So, yeah. you know, uh, the, the fans and the troops were very appreciative. And, and it was cool because... It was right around Fourth of July, mm -hmm. and yeah. so it had a little extra special meaning for the for the troops. Uh, Papa Roach is doing very well. Mm -hmm. They have success. Uh, is there anything you do um, to give back, actually, like charity, maybe? Yeah, I mean we've we've worked with uh, several different charities. Uh, a lot of uh, we we did a, a thing with um, Why Hunger uh, mm -hmm. charity. So we we did like the you know donations for food or money to help you know feed starving people and, and um i mean that's something that i don't think anybody should have to go through yeah. you know uh so we were we were big on that we were happy to, to be part of that um there's a lot of local stuff that up in sacramento california uh that i know jacoby goes and does some things at the hospital and um we're very tight with uh I think it's called North Bay Hospital, and they just opened like this crazy multi-million dollar cancer wing, and it just caters to people that are going through serious cancer issues, and, yeah. and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I mean, it's, you know, as hospitals go, because yeah. Yeah. they're not so beautiful, uh, but it's, it's just um, doing stuff like that. Um, yeah, a lot of it's a lot of it is hunger and cancer related. Yeah, um, you know everybody knows somebody that's had yeah. gone through cancer and maybe lost people. Um, and I don't know what's next for us, but yeah, I'd like to keep going. You know, I'd, yeah. I'd love to. I play golf. Okay. So <laughs> I would love to do I would love to do my own golf tournament someday and get, you know. A bunch of my musician friends and, and mm -hmm. people in the industry out and for whatever cause you know yeah that would be great yeah it'd be so cool to just be part of just yeah. giving out it feels so good why do you like to play golf um i like to play it it's 
the main thing is the challenge of it. It's so it's such a unique challenge. You know, it's it's not um, necessarily a team sport, mm -hmm. obviously. So you can only blame yourself, yeah. and that happens a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, Damn it! Why is it going that way when I <laughs> flags over there? Now uh, it's just a it's an incredible challenge mm -hmm. uh, of a sport, and and then plus like I'll do it on tour on days off so you know this whole circus of rock and roll and like and then the next day you have off and you go out and see a beautiful new course that, with nobody around yeah. you, you play with like three other people yeah. at the most okay so, so it's, on 400 you're gonna look uh, where you're touring and see where I do. The golf clubs yeah. or whatever. <laughs> except for it's hard to play in Europe uh, I don't bring yeah. my clubs here but in the states I, I bring my clubs out and it's just a it's a it's a nice change from the daily, you know, madness of touring, madness of touring yeah. and, yeah. and um, it's it's nice to get outside and just you know fresh air probably yeah breathe the fresh air <laughs> see all the beautiful trees and you know so, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it, a few different reasons why I play. Do you feel that you have the best seat in the house when you are touring and yeah. when you do that concert? Yeah. And why? Is Obviously, that? you get to see all the faces like I mean everybody from you know laughter to like you know excitement yeah. to people crying and that and plus like you know if, if any I'm, I'm hidden behind the drums so yeah. I get to watch if anybody if anybody throws anything on stage it's like you know I get to oh, kind of yeah. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> hit it out of the way with my stick or yeah turn my symbol up so it protects me like a shield. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think it's cool. And, you know, it's funny um, when people, um, if we have guests come up on stage or, you know, side stage, we had some friends the other night and uh, who we just met, friends of friends, and they came and sat, you know, a little bit off stage, but they yeah. saw everything and they were just like, <laughs> it's such a different perspective. I imagine, yeah. Um, it doesn't sound as good up there because you're not in front of the PA, mm -hmm. but it's just that unique perspective that people freak out on when they see, like, we used to offer that in our meet and greets, like you can buy the upgrade and have stage access mm -hmm. for a couple songs. And that, re that went really well, like people bought that up, like, I think we would sell like four people a night, like the chance to come yeah. up. And, yeah. and they were always like, oh, like they yeah. see us go on, you know, and you feel the rush and... Yeah. Do you like to share those experiences uh, with the fans, obviously? Yeah. I mean, we did. We we don't offer that anymore. It just gets too crazy, like, yeah. having too many people around and, and you know, um, different time now with a lot of, a lot of craziness yeah. going on. Yeah. You never know. So you never know, right. but... Yeah. Um, I love seeing people's faces when they, when they stand there yeah. and they're just like... Oh my God! And they're like, you guys see this every night, you yeah. know? It's it's different because we get kind of not used to it, but you you crave that, like yeah. going on stage. You crave that moment where you just like, here it goes. Like this is, you know? Yeah. Uh, but to see people react to that, it's it's pretty incredible. What do you think your trademark is? Where you are known for as a drummer? Oh, um, well, I mean, I've, you know, I've been known to beat the crap out of my drums. Oh. So, I just, I play with a lot of energy. Yeah. And as well as the whole band. Yeah. So, it's a trademark for me, like, you know, if, if they come see us, they know that, you know, we perform and just get into it and it's just part of us, you know, and, mm -hmm. and that goes for the whole band, you know, it's like, we've never been known as the band that just stands up there and yeah. uh, you know it's everybody's moving around and yeah. dancing around and like there's just a, a unified energy that is projected at the crowd and they're just like yeah. how many uh, uh, drumsticks are you abusing then during a tour oh Do man well box with you or? <laughs> yeah I bring I bring um, yeah this this tour I think I brought 72 pairs so I usually just, I go up with new sticks every night. Uh -huh. I start the set with new sticks. Yeah. And sometimes they break and sometimes I'll just, I just throw them out at the end. Yeah. Uh, a couple. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So, no, but I, I'm very good. fortunate because I, you know, yeah. I don't have to pay for them. That's good. And it's amazing, <laughs> and you know, yeah. Promark drumsticks are. I've used those since '93, and they're. Just, it's a great company. Yeah. So I've all. We all have very supportive companies and yeah. endorsements. Yeah. What yeah. keeps you moving? Uh, I mean, the music mm -hmm. just shows. Yeah. This basically, hands down, playing live is is the most incredible thing that I I've, I've ever done in life. Yeah. Apart from seeing my child being born, you know, yeah. but that's one time. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> uh, but I get to relive the excitement every night on yeah. stage, and that's that's a a feeling that I I couldn't imagine to live without, you know. Yeah. And it's just. It's overwhelming, but it's also, we've been doing it for so long that it's also, it's not normal, yeah. but it's, you know what I mean? It becomes yeah. sort of, like you, like I said earlier, you thrive on that, and yeah. you look forward to that every night. I guess uh, Papa Rose changed your life for that moment, Oh yeah. For good? Yeah, I absolutely. Guess. I mean, I played in a lot of bands, but this band, yeah, absolutely changed my life. It, it brought me up to another level of you know, of drumming and songwriting and, and performing for more people. And what do you do uh, when you're not working with uh, Pepper Roach and not golfing? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. There is no... No. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I like when we're home, you know, I, I wake up, I take my kid to school, I pick him up, um, work on the house. I'm... I'm about to move uh i sold my house buying another house so that's gonna that's gonna be i'll get home and have a whole list of <laughs> we call them man chores yeah so my wife will just have a whole list like you need to do this while you're home before you leave again i'm like oh can i just rest so yeah literally after right after this tour yeah. the next day i'm packing my house up and moving yeah, yeah. Be a big thing so the, the you know the new house will start all the man chores, all the projects again. Yeah. So, yeah. so. Yeah. But I, I enjoy I enjoy yeah. working on. Is there any news to share uh, or plans, new plans uh, that fans should know about? Uh, I mean, we're just going to continue touring on this uh, Crooked Teeth record cycle, mm -hmm. um, obviously, and try and hit as many places as we, as we can. Um, we've actually started writing for the next record already, which has happened earlier in the year. Um, so we have like five or six new songs already mm -hmm. that uh, are just demoed. Okay. Um, so we have a head start on the next record. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just basically shows right now. We're, yeah. just, we're just immersed in <laughs> Playing live, you know, yeah, yeah touring, yeah. trying to get to as many places as we can. Yeah. And uh, earlier this year, you have been a counseling for uh, what is it, a fantasy? Camp, oh yeah, uh, camp. rock and roll fantasy camp. Yeah. Yeah. Would you recommend that to 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 yeah to kids to go there? Yeah, uh, it's it's a great experience. Um, it's it's a little pricey for, you know, for a. A camper, yeah. called campers. Um, so there's a lot of older guys. Like, like I, I, um, I counsel the band, uh, and the drummer is a vet, so he paid for a veterinarian. He, so he paid oh. for his whole band to come. Uh huh. So, um, but it's a lot of older, older guys that just want to live out like a yeah. rock and roll, you know. And and then they have like themes. Like there, there's a Judas Priest one right now. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, a bunch of guys from Judas Priest are also the counselors, and you get to jam. You have an individual counselor, like a, such as myself, yeah. and then there are two nights where you get to jam with the actual whatever band is is featured. Yeah. Uh, so when I did it, it was Stone Temple Pilots and um, Alice in Chains. Uh -huh. So you know two two guys from each band were there and, yeah. and uh, i actually got to jam with all of them which nice. was super cool yeah yeah because i'm fans of both of those cool. bands so yeah. um so that was it's a great experience yeah um and then the, the bands actually you rehearse the bands for like three days and then they get to play out 
Okay. Like no, say we did a show at the Whiskey yeah. in LA. Okay, nice. And then this other venue, Lucky Strike Bowl, um, which they have a lot of jam nights. Um, so the bands actually get to perform out in front yeah. of crowds, which is yeah. cool. So yeah, they're yeah. always like, yeah. You know. <laughs> Is there any uh, other drummer you would really love to do a, a drum duet with? Um, with like, like a dream come true. I think I think. Uh, well, I'm good, I'm good friends with Ray Luzer from Corn, mm -hmm. and I just think he his playing is he's an amazing player. Yeah, and he's got everything. He's got groove. He's got technicality. Uh, he plays crazy stuff and I, I really um, I think it would be cool I've talked to him actually about doing you know he's like hey you do clinics I'm like no I've never done a clinic and I said I would do one though with with you you know yeah. so <laughs> cool I think I think it would be cool like yeah. he does a lot of clinics so I feel comfortable with him you yeah. know yeah. yeah and also I my other friend Glenn who plays in, in um, uh, Alice Cooper okay he's yeah. another amazing clinician that just Yeah. Blows my mind, yeah. like what he's doing, like on drums. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I can barely hold my sticks, man. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> juggling around. Yeah. For fun, yeah. To go out, can you do your best imitation of Jacoby right there? Oh, best imitation, Jacoby. <laughs> Thank I'm Jacoby you. Shaddix. Yeah. For watching Headbangers Lifestyle. Yes.